Then hyperbolic is obviously sine hyperbolic by cosine hyperbolic, so I don't need to write that out. And we have to do this math. Without this, I can present you the equations, I can solve a bunch of problems, and I can call it a day and go home. That's of no benefit to anybody. So I understand that this might be a little tiring or boring for some of you, but this is a part and parcel of what you have signed up for here. Okay? So I appreciate your patience. All right. So now I take all of this and I see immediately that if I divide this by 2, and I also divide that big bracket there by 2, and I rewrite the numerator in the following manner. I have two exponentials multiplied by each other so I can add up their powers or subtract their powers. Then I'm going to have theta of x. Take the theta b, throw it onto the left hand side, bring it to the denominator. Theta b, this is e to the power m is a common factor times l minus x e to the power minus m times l minus x divided by 2, okay, divided by the other feature e to the power ml plus e to the power minus ml by 2. And it should be quite clear that the denominator is a hyperbolic cosine with the factor ml instead of x. The numerator is a hyperbolic cosine with the factor m times l minus x instead of x. Okay, so now we write this in a more simpler form. This is cosine hyperbolic l minus x cosine hyperbolic. That's not too bad. We want to do the same thing, obtain the heat loss rate by calculating the gradient at the base of the fin. Okay, so I'm going to write the equation down. So Q loss is minus KF, the area of cross section, dt by dx at x is equal to 0. I will not do the calculations. I want to get out of this uh, without incurring a wrath too much. So if you do the calculations, this is what you'll end up getting. M and h This is for an adiabatic tip. Where capital M is HP. Multiplied by theta B. Little m squared. Thank <laughs> you. 